Prepare for battle. Oh, another best of one indeed, Liz. It never lets up. This is all we got for the rest of the day. And hype teams to have it. And hype series. Because you know what I'm seeing on each side, Liz? I'm seeing heroes that like rapiers. And this is Team Secret in this series. Yeah, you Team Secret's man with the Sven this time around. He's not playing PA. He might still get that rapier for true strike a little bit later on. But they just lost the game versus Navi with dropping that PA's rapier, so maybe he might think differently this time around. But overall, I like the Sven pickup here. I actually love Sven versus Omni Knight, right? You have that dispel talent on level 15. There aren't many heroes that dispel in the game, and suddenly you, your carry can do exactly that on a core that he's ta targeting. 30 seconds to that looks solid for Secret. For Nigma, this trio, Sand King Phoenix, Void Spirit, they dish out so much magic damage in the mid game that they're, they will be the cogs that really bring Enigma into the game. Make that machine work a little bit later. Yeah, it feels like a, a kind of critical thing for Secret is finding their way towards BKBs on these, these cores, right? Like, especially the, well, the Ember and the Spen, at least. And then they'll have a the means to fight. Begins. But that does give Enigma a decent window to kind of push that aggression in the early mid game. Yep. On, on Ember, maybe you don't really want it as much. On Sven, you can afford it because uh, you're a Sven. You're always an item ahead, right? So you can think about that, BK. PA. When you think about PA in a game such as this one, he, he does have Omni Knight, but as we mentioned earlier, that's the only buff and it's countered too. So it's not really the greatest PA game overall. But it's PA in this. Never know. That's the big catch. You know, you get that late game scenario. No, nobody wants to go very late against the PA because you're always at risk. You you know, you have got these heroes that can have a lot of armor, but someone like, like Puppy is not going to have a, a fun time in, in this game if we do get that later stage. Uh, something I kind of noticed actually is quite interesting is Nygma, they have easy ways of disengaging from, from Puppy's Will-O-Wisp, right? Like all these heroes have mobility elements that will allow them to not have to necessarily kill the lamp, but just move away from it. Um, yeah, that's true, but if you're the one initiating on the side of Secret, it can get a little bit tricky, right? Because it's not only Will-O-Wisp, usually it's followed up by someone else, like an Ember Spirit or a Stun. That, that, that can be a problem. Suffice to say, Kuro's positioning is going to be important for that Heavenly Grace save. That, that's kind of the thing Secret have, that cheap initiation. This top lane, panel mentioned it, Zai, he'll be babysat here until he hits uh, level 3. After that, the officer can do whatever the hell he wants to the map. This guy will be unkillable. PA plus Omni Knight really do not pressure him. <clears throat> but I believe if you're Enigma and you're drafting like this and you see this Timber Saw, you know that's what's gonna happen, so... You're just thinking a little bit deeper, a little bit further into the field, not only about the brain. Yeah, it's, it's most important that, you know, before you're level 6 on this Void Spirit, just be careful about your positioning if Yapsil's not showing, right? Because that's when a, a Void Spirit is vulnerable to death on this mid lane. Yapsil is pretty low here, but he's only messing with them. They, they pulled the small camp, so he kind of... A little bit meanwhile, Zai, happy little camper on this top lane. Happy yeah, lag. Yapsil, though, not very happy at all. Just gonna chase it. First blood drawn, and Miracle gets it. This is, this is one of those situations when you claim your position four. Dude, the only thing you have to do is just stay behind me. That's it. Lock the camp, stay behind me. Just don't die, because they can't kill me. But, yeah, unfortunately, the episode, he played with fire a little bit. Yeah, and then the boss on that situation is argument is always, well, you're only unkillable because you're level three now, but now you're level three, can you protect Yapsil is the problem. They're just going to keep poking and prodding this tiny. As, as long as he's wasting PA's time, and they're unable to harm on Miracle, I find the absorb. You want the bot lane? They are actually keeping pressure on the Superman. He's not having the happiest of times, but you, you'd expect this, right? Sand King loves playing against these melee carries. Oh, for sure. This dual lane, maybe when with Puppy's level two chakra magic, you can uh, surprise them with some cool storm hammers. But besides that, this should be a lane for mind control and GA. So these two offlaners on both sides should win their uh, respective lane. As you can see, the CS, I control. Oh, yeah. 
And then the difference is like which one could more easily do things in the mid game. Because right now, as I is at least getting some ejection with the assistant Yapsaw as they pick off Omni Knight. But suffice to say, a Sand King, it's going to be easy for him to kind of hunt down targets in, in that mid game, right? Compared to a Timber. Almost. Oh, I say that. Miracle. <laughs> Zai, he can't get the right tree, and the tracker Radiant won't be enough Spurs. now that Kuroki has arrived. Well, right, uh, well in death, probably. Miracle. No, he's fine. He's like, come at me, buddy. I might not be able to kill you, but now that my Omni's back, you can't kill me either. Well, he's still pretty low, but yeah, like you said, Omni is here. He'll be able to heal him up. Illusion. Why he died there, Kuro is just trying to get level 3 as soon as possible. So sometimes that means you're a little bit read your own the farming patterns and try you try to mess with this small camp a little bit too long and take you down yeah it's a tough lane for Kura as well right like heavenly grace isn't extremely high value right they like the way the avalanche works you're not going to be able to just stop yourself from being stunned in those situations dire structures are five is approaching so Bounty runes, it looks like. Yep, so we'll snatch one on top. Oh, Wii's already moved in for the safest one for Radiant side, so it looks like Nigma are going to get all four runes. Th this is really well played by Wii. They, they, he made this happen. If you're Yapsor, you definitely contest this Omni Knight, but as you know that we is on your, on your cliff, he's taking the rune next to the Ancients, you're not really sure, okay, he might be there, but he might have also just rotated here instead, and because of that, Yapsor plans the ward and doesn't go low ground. Yeah, it's the fact that Wii's kept pressure on Anisha, right, so he's so low on health, he couldn't match the rotation. He just had to try and get the only Vaj he could, Anisha which is the quickest six. six. Mid -lane. Exactly. He isn't. Be a little bit careful here. He just got his six toes. And he's gonna have a bounty rune, so he's gonna be more than fine. He's gonna be glorious. Nisha is following, but... is under attack. Well, there's just not much you can do. You know, we see Ambers time and time again. They don't really take these early points of Searing Chains anymore. Yeah, de depends on some matchups, right? Radiant but uh, has been I'm around just Slight of Fist plus Lightstone, and you constantly spam we with that. Good. Good move from Yapsaw though, just making sure that the rune's secure at the six minute mark so that Nisha can pivot a little bit of an advantage here. Now this is, if the rune spawned bottom, then it wouldn't have been as good, it would have been a wasted rotation, but as it did spawn on top lane, it, it, it's, it's a very good rune, rune secure and too many players, poor players, don't put enough emphasis on this. You need to secure those runes. It, they win or lose lanes, literally. And they, they can ripple out, right? Like, think about the amount of times you see a mid get a haste. What do they do? They run to the outer lane, they punish someone else where it, it benefits more than just a single lane in the game. No, of course, of course. The, the whole game can be made or broken by that, especially when you have these two extremely active mid laners. Okay. They're trying to get active here. I'm not really sure sure what the plan no, is here. Maybe try and stop the, the stacks, I guess. The stacks, yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Maybe even a kill. Oh, they need a few more crits. Miracle wants to re-engage, but Vigil on the high ground is going to be revealed to Yapsel with that dagger. And they don't even get the kill. Nisha now with the Invis rune. Just trying to rotate, but once again, it's a lack of lockdown to deal with this PA yet. Does Miracle want to even go back top? Like... He's looking like a guy that doesn't really know which way he wants to go, and there you go, he TPs back, but... He was I beginning to look a little bit like a roaming Phantom Assassin at that point. Ex honest, exactly. Yeah. You remember those days with Orb of Venom and, Orb <laughs> and Lightstone running and around? And any hero? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. On PA especially, Radiant because you just go around and throw out daggers. Like, that was so annoying. Oh, God. Dyer's middle tower well, the, 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 other, the other surprisingly annoying, but not so effective ones, like, you remember Anti-Mage, when people would try that as a possible? Yeah, the 2B Anti-Mage. <laughs> well, 2B anything at this point. Yep, <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. middle tower No, the Miracle needed to rotate from top lane. All jokes aside, because uh, that lane is already pressured way too hard, and he's not getting enough. Dyer's I don't think farming the small is camp is enough attack. either. I think Kuro is in a little bit of trouble here. Maybe he gets the TP out. Looks like he will be able to escape. They, they can bust for him when he had the Heavenly Grace on. Yeah, they're swapping lanes around. So, top lane mind control now. 
Uh, he deals magic damage more than anything else, so he'll be able to stay against that. Oh. Dive onto GH. He's able to get the solo effect. Point Chains finally finding its value there. Um, so what happened there is GH, he managed to survive the first time because he had dive, but then he still stuck, stuck around, tried to perhaps uh, defend the tower a bit longer, which led to his inevitable death. As you don't have cooldowns, right? You don't have level 6, you don't have dive, you're just dead. Yeah, and it's annoying because you want to be sitting there, right? It's wasted XP in your eyes if you're not able to absorb it. So. He might think it's worth the risk, but at the same time, you are just starting to pad Nisha off because he's now at level 9 compared to Wii, only at level That's 7. Miracle is, is really moving a lot. Bottom lane. Oh, yeah. And they, I don't know if they got... Nope, the purification wasn't rightly timed. Nisha was able to dodge with the slight fist. Bottom lane, Zai rotated in. Uh, he just TP'd bot, and instantly that made Miracle TP back top. He does not want to be on the same lane as Zai at all. And that's the only thing Zai wants to do. That and push towers, which... As Timber saw right now, you can do. But you have to be a little bit careful and wary of the magic damage. I mean, you're not really suffering as much as the Timber Man, though. Like, he barely got away from uh, his own triangles. He had to walk all the way back to base. You know, farming up these ancient stacks early on, it, it's pretty painful for him. Especially when these heroes are just lingering around all the time. I just have to say, there's something that I really find enjoyable watching this Sven and PA suffer. Ooh, Does that make me a bad person, or...? No, that, that makes you okay. a reasonable person. So we're gonna see more suffering with two man down a half HP, moving in with a dagger. The problem is now Miracle's not suffering. Can Nisha turn this around? That's the question. We have a slight fist in a second. We'll get mind control, but he hasn't got that Miracle PA yet. You need to make him pun be punished. With the movement in, maybe he's trying to move away the blast through Puppy. Able to spank that PA. We just about able to move away with the final astral step, but there you go, Liz. That's what you wanted. Both the boss ones. Both, both, both carries that. I'm not biased if I want both of them to die, right? <laughs> exactly. You want them to equally suffer. Just suffer exactly. a lot. And we. Alright, looks like they won't be able to quite clean up we here. So Nisha, he was feeling blood first. He's having quite the hell of a game right now. Top of the net worth 103 and decent CS as well. Still a much better trade for um, Mi'kmaq I mean, for Secret Story because they took down three heroes. Uh, they did lose Sven first, which is a little bit bad, but if you're Matu right now, you're not too worried as you still do farm quite faster than Miracle and you will be able to recover. As long as you get a couple of stacks, which, not, which has not been the case so far, as Nigma are on point blocking them. It's just you know, while you are slowing down these stacks, you can see how they're struggling to, to deal with the niche factor right now, right? Their lockdown feels very limited at the moment to punish this embers. Yeah, both of these teams are limited on that that way. Um, maybe when once mind control starts rotating with his blink dagger, that will change a little bit. And you can set it up, right? Like some blink dagger on sand king plus the void spirit, that's enough to, to blow anyone up. It's just a case if you can find a way to maybe like set up a, a kill on Nisha that can lead into this mid tower. So then they'll have more real estate for Miracle. He's actually, he's decided, you know, Battle Furies are overrated. I know I need to be active quicker. He's actually building the Sand and Yasha this game. Man, that's actually very interesting. He's going, he's, he's going Dazzo first and then SNY. Yeah. I, I actually don't see Dyer's a lot of plus and wise bots on PA. Attack. This is a different approach completely. I'm wondering if um, Matu will do something different too. Mid lane, my control. Oh, jump in. Blink initiation's good. Ember burst through. Slide fits to try and dodge, but the remnant perfectly placed to ensure he's going to his grave. Dyer's that was actually not pitch perfect from Nygma. And if Nisha had a remnant somewhere else, like he's out of there, he would be fine. Sadly for him, he didn't. And as a result, there's a rippling effect of this. They're going to try and take the tier 1 tower of a mind control. He's getting a little bit too greedy here. Lamp's going to go down. Stun control on the mind control. Can he get away though? Gold strength's going to be used. They want to burst through quickly with the purification. That's not enough to save him. They'll be able to find the kill. They'll hunt for more current now. The next target on the hit list. The egg's going to be committed. Is it going to be enough to save him though? Avatar's on the spot. It's going to get him. Thora's gone. And they're able to back away before they all get stunned up. Yeah, that, that was a really nice seg, but... Um... 
there, there was no support for it, and it was only to try and save Omni Knight, which obviously didn't work in the end. Very interesting play by Enigma, too aggressive in my, in my opinion, as they go into the triangle after they waste everything they had on mid lane, on that Ember kill, if you remember. Yeah, it's, it's like, well, how can I forget it? Like you said, it, it wasn't the cleanest initiation. So the fact they felt confident enough to try for an even harder kill is surprising in itself. This one, however, much easier. Yamsor caught under the tier one tower. Nigma, they rotate all their heroes here. They really need to find more for this, though. I don't know if they'll be able to get Nisha. I mean, this feels like you're just grassman straws now. Uh, yes and no, because if you remember, God strength was used because of that. They're thinking, okay, they want, they want to fight. We can be a bit more aggressive now. That's true. I guess it's the still case hard. of like how you you lock down these targets, still, right? Like we, we saw, you need that epicenter to find a kill on Demetia, for example. And let's not even get started on Zai. Master it. So there's maybe like they have to learn someone new, which maybe allows other players to to get one up or be on the same level to an extent. But at the same time, if we didn't change the map, we didn't, if we kept everything the same, would people keep playing? I mean, Dota is a very diverse game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, Like, I don't would. get me wrong. Diver Dota is a very diverse game, right? But we love change. We always, like, every, anything in life, we just love change. Until we realize it's bad for us, and then we straight on to Reddit, just complain about it. We hate it. Like, think about Razor Pickers at the moment, you know? They would, imagine if they found a way to somehow make Razor worse, right? After all the begging Worse. from Razors. <laughs> I mean, he, he's been looking pretty rough right now, right? Oh, he'll be I buffed think... for sure. It, it's not oh, the most yeah. interesting or fun hero for me, at least personally, in the game. So I don't mind not seeing him every single game. They're, they're not taking me, but Zai is big. Uh, it's a hard kill, maybe. They're going to try for it. I don't know, the Remnant might be enough to bring him down. He's low, they will be able to clean him up. On the side though, the roots are coming out. We will be protected. Trying to escape, but he's gonna leave behind the Omni Knight. GH is tanky enough, but they don't want to try and force them out. You poke the bear, you might get the egg. Not really sure how that works, but they want that egg. And we'll just walk away. All right, um, so they, they do get what they came for. They use the egg and the epicenter in the end. Meanwhile, Sven obviously had to use God's threat. Oh, right. Oh, look at re-engage. Yep, stun control in. We brought low. Maybe they get him. He's able to move away with the simulator though. He stands his ground and then cuts away. Toss across just to try and escape. Yaps will be brought low. Miracle will clean him up. Tuma man, extremely low. Will be finished off as mind control moves in. But Tuma man, one hit will do it. The dagger across onto the wrong target though. Miracle, no. He doesn't go for Matuma man. And as a result, he's going to be one time we will go in now still looking for him but he can't find it oh no. <laughs> he's not only got him straight he's got a jukes right now he's gonna dodge it all out we is also gonna be punished all spells on cooldown it's a double kill for zai and sven just limping away confident on next to no hp when, when i said zai was big i meant item build wise i didn't mean that so big on the screen miracle won't be able to select sven even uh Okay, so there's there's a slight chance that he didn't see Sven, and because of that, he blinks on Zai and tries to follow uh, Matu, right? It's nighttime, they don't have vision around that area, so that's also possible. He was joking him in the trees, but he just couldn't get on top. That looked so bad for Secret, and it turned out so goddamn good for them. It's crazy. Oh, most definitely. Like, the, the big swing now, a 3k net worth lead for Secret. I mean, that type of replay is the type of... That's the type of moment that a mana manufacturer will use to try and tell you you need a bigger mana. Like, ah, if you just add our 32 inch, 14, 40p, 144 hertz mana, you, you see, you could have daggered the Sven there and got the big kill. Oh, oh, whoa, GH. Calm down, laddie. I know the egg's coming off cooldown, but I don't know if you want to fight this. The cut in. Drink. Oh, 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 Pumpy's just gone. But they're going to lose mind control just as quickly to the combo. Miracle trying to punish this, but there's going to be a remnant away from Nisha. The egg has been committed nowhere near the rest of the secret, so they can just back up. Every single game you're playing Quattle versus uh, PA, there's this moment in the game in which you... Miracle, like, the PA doesn't go on you way too many times and you feel a bit safe. But after this time, I think Puppy will play way, way more careful. 
Yeah, I mean, right right now, he, feels, he felt like he was a knight on a horse, right? He's got his shield. He's protected by that vanguard. It just didn't matter, though. Now Zai, ooh, able to move away. Miracle has got that DD running. I don't know if they want to engage. It's going to be a random control on Nisha. Do they want to go in? Epicenter Star's going to be there. Bring him low. Nisha's still alive, though. Ever slide fist. Can he move away? Remnant in. Chases are out. They're going to get the triple kills. They clean them up with a god strength on Matumba Man. Miracle, even with a DD, realizes his limits and has to back away. Very aggressive moves from Nigma again. They didn't have the rotis, they didn't have the egg, but they still go in. I can understand why you're, you're playing a PA and that PA has a DD, and again. Jump in! Nisha is alive again! Miracle! He needs to get out! But two man is coming, they're gonna jump in, he wants to kill in the puppy, is this gonna cost him his life though? Instead, Kuro, targeted by Batum man, is gonna be burst through the avalanche, it's enough to get rid of Miracle. GH in trouble now, needs to retreat, will be able to dive away, but the damage is already done. Look at the net worth lead that Secret now has 20 minutes in. Two fights, and they're now up 7,000 gold over Nigma. Yeah, because Matu isn't dying, right? In these two fights, Matu survives. Meanwhile, Miracle, yeah, he does get a couple of kills. Two kills on Kotl, if nothing else. But he still does fall in the end, which is what makes Matu have a BKB, Echo Saber, and Mask of Madness right now. Meanwhile, you don't even have oh. SMY completely. This is an ambitious kill, sir. They want to try and punish Nisha. They need to be careful. Avalanche Pulse is going to come out, though. They just get punished instead. Oh, the, the lockdown, it is painful to watch for Nigma. I, I feel like if mind control is not there, none of these kills are ever possible. Disability. Man, I mean, Puppy, Dying like you said, top, top, Miracle's overcommit. It's almost like Puppy has created a permanent torn on this Phantom Assassin because he built a Vanguard. It's like P Miracle's just looked and gone, challenge accepted. And it's never yeah. been worthwhile. What's also interesting is that he's going for a ghost scepter afterwards. <laughs> You're giving mixed signals here, buddy. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not trying to finish off Prince. And... He might get finished off himself, though. Challenge accepted. This time, there will not be punishment, though. The Tumor Man just wants out. The Yule's gonna be there, though. Jump in. BKB forced out. It'll stun him up. God strength. Trying to go to work on the mind control. Does get him just as he borrows strikes away. <laughs> no! Out of all the ways to die there, that's gonna be the most tilting one of all for mind control. Moving in. GH. They won that egg, but it's like... It just doesn't no feel down. fair, man. It's, this, this shouldn't exist. Like, you have three heroes, you jump him. He's not... Yeah, okay, he has an effort. I mean, he has a BKB as well, yeah. right? Come on. <laughs> he three shot at the S SK. Also. Oh, no. It's not like there's a hero in this game that could one-shot people. Matuma Van might get one shot from this health. Gone. Commit the air. Can they find more, though? Zai, look at the move away. We'll be able to do so. Yapsor with a TP out. No crit, so he will make it. Yapsor was lucky because GH uh, kept his eyes on Nisha. He still is, though. Mind control is Moving in. I'm gonna throw down the lab to protect him as the dive in from GH is interrupted beautifully done so there was no Yules. Exactly. <laughs> GH tried to Yule Oh my. Him. Oh, oh. Up. We is not having a fun game here. There's this Deso Ember is destroying him right now. It's so easy for Nisha. Like, they, they have two styles, right? You have um, Nisha, who's able to constantly poke and prod with Slight of Pins Deso. And on the other hand, you have this Sven, who's not really poking. He's destroying you if he goes in. Yeah, so, I mean, well, it's like a physical Dagon at this point, right? Because of the Chakra. That's, that's the thing that's making it ridiculous, is it's two pokes instead of one. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it looks really good on Secret because they have multiple ways of fighting. They don't have to commit with it when they don't want to, which is really nice. Like, one thing that you have to give Sven in every fight is vision. He's getting plenty of that from, from his teammates. This should make my life easier. And it's the, the comparison of the big team fight elements, right? Like, you've got this egg on one side, but Nygma, it almost feels like, like it's too easy for Secret to move away. While Puppy is almost exclusively used this Willow with defensively, right? It's just like, oh, they jump us. We just need, like, one second reset and we can get a better advantage point. I don't know if this rush. Yeah, they smoke up. This is much better. Nisha. Jump in. No yours. A little bit of miscreation there. He will get hit by the remnant of the lowest there to protect him. They'll move away from the egg. Epicenter isn't going to get close enough. Yours in trouble for Superman, but there's the Ghost Train. Just going to move away for the moment. The egg is going to explode. 
But they'll look to re-engage. As Zyde cuts towards the back line, they are in full retreat on the side of Nygma. They did force out the God Strength, but they can't lose any heroes. The Avatos is going to be there, and they found Kuro. That will this be enough Roche, to validate Roche. This, yep. this is Roche because Egg was used too. Now, if you're Nygma, you might think about still defending because you have uh, Blink and Stun from, stun from Sand King. And yeah, they smoke That's smoking. He shot. Yeah, he knows something's wrong. He's like, I'm an Ember. I shouldn't be in the pit. They do not have the epicenter, though. They do not have the egg. This is going to be a tough one. Jump in. BKB out from a two man. Mind control. Cut in four hits. Moving in on the GH. Toss is there. Perfectly timed to go for the dive away. Is able to escape. But Tuma Man, God's strength has now run out, but the jump in is going to be the Ember. Gets passed up by Roach, but the Roach is going to come up. Miracle now in trouble. The land goes down. It traps in Wii as well. Tops across on the spot. Miracle needs it now, but he won't be able to find it. One more hit. They'll find it. They bring him down. Wii is able to move away, but the damage is already done. They've lost Miracle again. It's a 10k net worth lead, and now Secret can secure the Roach. They're punishing Miracle for his overaggression every single time he goes in. They bait him with Nisha. Blocking with Searing Chains and then Martin just finishes off the deal. Really, really well played by Secret so far. Uh, it it kind of is that, that recurring case, right? Nigma is Secret just sit there. They move to an objective and they say, Nigma, you have to make the move. Usually it's been around this POS1 tower, which by the way, for Team Secret is still standing to this point. So the, the issue, the real issue for Nygma is they have this Timber Saw. He just goes in, he has Load Sorb and Pipe. You can't really, you, you can't just ignore him because he's dealing out way too much damage. But most importantly, like we said earlier, he's giving vision for Sven to pick and choose his targets. And he, this Timber Saw, you might not feel it with damage output in teamfights, but he's doing so much work for Sigma. Yeah, it's basically a taunt for Nygma's spells, right? Like you said, they, they can't ignore him, so they commit a lot of their, their very lacking CC, shall we say, to, to trying to deal with him. And, and we've, we've seen this issue where usually their Yules are being used not to set up a, a stun. Usually it's just trying to keep Sven out of the equation while they try and remove Timber. Radiant's bottom tower is under They're attack. They're going mid. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Wrapping around him, expecting some sort of response. But you can see Nygma, they're holding around the bottom area of the map. They don't want to fight directly into Aegis, BKB, God Strength, Sven. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. The Sven that's almost about to hit level 22. Radiant's bottom tower is um, under attack. If he does take the Storm Hammer talent, and if he gets Chakra, Dyer's that would be pretty cool. It's under attack. Like, if. Well, I like how you say if. Flying. <laughs> Flying from one target to the next, yeah. He took it. Oh, oh, joy! Oh boy, we look at that. Man. He there took the, the storm hammer cooldown. How unexpected! <laughs> I mean, of course he's gonna take it, but I'm just building. I like how you build this suspense. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Oh, hello. He's trying to set someone up here. He's like, kill me, please. So there's a reinforcement's coming. And I'm not the quickest at kills. He'll finally be brought down. The lamp has been dropped. They are TPing in reinforcements. We on the high ground. Storm Hammer up. GA to try and protect him. But the magical damage is going to bring him low. The remnant through. They've almost got through him. We trying to cut and run away. The chain isn't going to connect with a tree. They will at least get the Void Spirit. But it looks like that's all they're going to get. He wasted too much of their time. So they get the high value target Miracle out of there alive. Um, the, the, this trade is one for one. And it's actually... Very lucky for Nigma because Kotl, Puppy, he already used his chakra before before M Matu came, so he didn't have that double stun. If he did, that would be more trouble for sure. It's true. But now they wanna they say, okay, if we can't kill you know, heroes, we'll go for inanimate objects. They aim for the tie. Instead they're gonna find Kuro on the back line. The lot is reflecting the stun though, and but even close to the miracle scares him off. They find the kill on the Kuro. Come forward looking for more, Nisha. So that's against it, they say, wait, we forgot about the Taz, didn't we, lads? Let's turn around and deal with those with the God Strength. You go outside of your base, you try to take an objective, and then Secret just rushes you back down to your Dyer's own high ground. They're taking every objective that they can. Meanwhile, the Tier 1 is taken, the Tier 2 now as well as those fall, and that's all the Ultra Tower is down for them. Bottom tower it's like that kid born. that has everything they could ever want, and they see another kid has something, and they go, I want that Dyer's too. But that, that's kind of secret tower. right now. Everything belongs to them. Nygma are just, they're all of a twist, begging for, for a second serve, maybe in the first at this stage. Yeah, so 
jump in, go Scepter, he doesn't care. <laughs> he says, nice magic damage, buddy. The tagger will get him, though. Nishi's poking around the back. Miracle needs to get out quick. We, however, might not be so lucky. Trying to move away. I'll move across with the Remnant. They have got the chains, they have got the connect, and they have got the damage to punish we for it. Okay, so what happened there is a Yapsur does die, but I think what's wor a little bit worse for Secret is that uh, their push was stopped. Still, do you really care that much about that? You're controlling the map, you're farming Dad, up. Oscar. This AC will cr make Sven and Radiant's his team so much tankier versus PA. They don't necessarily have to rush it, but with this Aegis, they could push for high ground. Yeah, like you're, you're kind of chilling, you kill them, right? Like you're in this game. We, we see that we have all had those games where we look, we see we got all our out of towers almost. We go, do I really want to give them that hint? Do I even want to give them a remote chance of getting gold? Probably not, especially when it's a Phantom Assassin of all heroes. That same Phantom Assassin is having a really weird time this game. Uh, even though he's top, on, top of the network of his own team, look at his item build. He opted not to go for that SMY. That Sanj into Basher. Like, usually what you see is Dazzle Radiance into Basher or Dazzle Mom into Basher, right? But, uh, he opted not to go for SMY in the end. Nah, no, this looks like one of those builds where you were hoping a Titan Sliver would drop or something and then later on get a Satanic. But. Yeah, you get some stats resistance Radiance from Sanj, that's definitely true, attack. but uh, is it worth it? Especially against these heroes, right? Like, you know, that doesn't really screw the Tiny that much. No. Does Sven need that? That extra percentage you're saving on the stun at this stage. You're better off just relying on the miss chance to save you from Sven. And that's kind of the surprising part about this, right? Sven has not, like, he doesn't see the need for a Silver Age or an MKB. Like, he feels so confident about the PA not being a problem that he's not countering her with his items. I've seen so many die on that hill thinking <laughs> the same thing and then missing 10 times in a row but yeah i agree with you <laughs> miracle trying to escape One there's too many heroes here though Kurok, can he get his carry out of this so give him the heavenly grace they could just save some stuns they're gonna go for the tp away but there's the chains with that miracle's force to fight, he'll move in and punish Pompey for it. He says, it was your chakra that got me killed. The GA is going to be used, but Miracle, nowhere to run. We'll turn around, looking at Yatsu, bring him low, but the Ghost Scepter ensures that he'll only get one kill down here. By the way, he does have Heavenly Grace for status. Maybe this is well thought through as well, right? Like, you have Heavenly Grace plus the Sun. Maybe that's the reason. But so far, he only has damage to kill off a Kotl, which isn't really where you want to be as a PA. So, no, uh, and yeah, you know, it's it's the fact that he hasn't got life still, so I could maybe see that being more valuable from the Omni Knight. It just still doesn't give you a way of dealing with the Timber Man anytime soon. Is he just clubbing in the buildings? One, two, three, and gone. Back away though. He respects the poke damage of Nygma. He's happy with what he's claimed here. The goal strength is, of course, running out. So. Yeah. He obviously doesn't have age as well any longer, so he pull back. Don't want to really feed any kills. There's a possibility of buyback from PA, but even without that, they do have enough that um, magic damage to take him down if they stun lock him. And to make sure they have the stuns, you can already see the miracle. He's not even thinking about buyback. He's going to buy out on what he needs. He's got the Vanguard. He is getting close to that completed abyssal. Just 1500 gold off. Looks like they might even smoke. No, at the moment they just run down bottom. You can see the way the Nigma plays. Look at these three heroes in Radiant Jungle and where uh, Miracle is going to farm. They always set the perimeter so well around their carry so that he has the safest possible place in the map. That way they assure that Miracle never truly feeds unless he wants to do something crazy and jump into them. Well, we've seen PAs do like to do crazy things. <laughs> this game it can be a little bit to his detriment by the way he did actually find the paladin sword so screw a titan sliver idea i think he just got the best of the tier three items he could hope for in this game yeah but it might be a bit late timber with the shivas or with the dragon scale <laughs> that That's looks true. so good on him actually i love this even better he's carrying oh, fair smoke That's what just broke avalanche oh, 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 the jump is control please god miracle force the 
fight with the lab control and one wants to run away. They've already lost my control. They're gonna lose Miracle as well. Kuro, he's not getting away. The slight of fist, the slight of power yeah. is coming out. Nigma are just broken. I would ping that word too, man. They're pinging it now, but it's a bit too late. And it's such a I'm uncharacteristic mistake for Enigma for a tier one team to smoke up that far without checking for a ward. That was... I mean, what a way to capitalize from Yapsaw, though, right? Like, you know, we were worried about his slow blink timing and whatnot. But that impact, that avalanche toss combo is a game winning avalanche toss combo. As Secret are gonna win this one. They'll poke and prod at GH, they'll force the egg out of him, but then they'll turn around for the throne as they have done it. They've taken the game against Nigma.